Hello folks, welcome to the OP Investing. I hope you already missed my voice and missed my reviews because I was not posting this week because of some internet problems and some recording problems over by my side. So yeah, uh, it's a Sunday and let's make the weekly review guys. And as you can see here guys, the weekly EURUSD is just falling to the downside. But I was expecting that the price should go to the upside, kind of like to retest those zones and then go to the downside, but it fell to the downside. And as you can see here, guys, uh, we are at this support point, guys. Kind of like, you know, uh, while the retest is going on, like we might see uh, such kind of like movement but um, talking about the geopolitics uh, talking about political side uh, macroeconomical side um, nothing is good for year is coming the winter is coming the harsh times is coming so uh, highly likely it will just uh, plunge to the downside and that's all guys um, at the like longer term so i'm expecting longer term bearishness uh so i don't look at the left side uh supports etc we might have some minor reaction to the upside and then continuation to the downside uh looking at the four hourly time frame guys as you can see we are kind of like overextended over here we did have our genuine like uh, break of structure to the downside guys um, we can just draw draw it like uh, from this high uh, I don't know yet to the which low because we did not have a valid pullback uh, meanwhile I don't know it might be there it might be here it might be whatever right you know when we have a valid pullback to the upside and after that i will be looking for uh longs to the upside somewhere above like 50 percent level maybe uh here we have a nice level guys above 618 level uh it's 200 pips yeah that might even take a week guys because um actually this week was a uh, pretty pretty tough pretty tough we might e even not have such a like um very deep pullback to the upside and then just um we might like pull back to somewhere around here and then just continue to the downside guys kind of like following the structure uh here we have the continuation of the trend uh and guys if we draw our fips from there to there and we might have yeah really kind of like a couple of nice places like at least uh this auto block at least this auto block is uh a bit nice kind of like oh my god maybe we will have something on the low time frame yeah it might be like this reversal and continuation to the downside guys let's oh my god Let's move to the USD CAD. Yeah, as uh, as it was like um, ex expectable, like the retracement to the upside, kind of like over here, the resistance is turning into the support and um, just expecting some uh, up movement, guys, because we are expecting some down movements on Euro. From the structure point guys um we kind of like break this high uh we do have this um auto block below or the this whole uh break block so if you if you look for a 50 percent, that's gonna be kind of like at the same place actually but over here we're grabbing some liquidity below those little little candles and over here we do have this imbalance where smart money just kicked in this auto block guys um furthermore we do have 
imbalance below over here um but that's gonna be some longer term like uh there is no valid pullback but uh we can wait for one and just look for entries like uh this zone might be our zone or this zone might be our zone like for a buys yeah it's a bit messy yeah we overall expecting continuation to the upside it was the gpy is just raggeding again Those resistance turn it into the support. Price came, retested, and then right now it's just rocketing to the upside, guys. Just a very, very stable trend. Uh, personally, I recommend you to just trade intraday on the 15 minute time frame. Some, for example, guys, um, we did have this uh manipulation of the low side of the asian range and after that uh we can expect that asian range is the maximum point where the price might uh fall to the downside so it's on the discount like uh when we see a reversal sign just buy it like over here um the next on the next session like we broke to the upside uh retracement uh it touched the imbalance and just continued to the upside or here guys um the break of uh break of structure to the upside come back retested the break block perfectly and then just rocketed to the upside nothing is um hard just following the trend on the low time frame and that's all guys because use dgpy kind of like it's a commodity payer and it is super super um uh kind of like super super steady like usd cat you the usd the same you as uh your usd is just falling to the downside guys we do have a very very strong uh bearish weekly candle closure uh, expecting such a strong movement to the upside as it was over here making a new lows nothing is like super clear on the daily uh i would expect some just a minor retracement to the upside maybe to those auto block and then just continuation gbp was the the same structure the same the same picture very strong closure to the downside uh daily super clear downtrend but we did not made a new lower low kind of like you know uh when we do have uh, when we do have such a strong impulses to the upside a uh, downside or somewhere we do have a new lower lows like uh over here we do have over here we do have a strong movements we have a low low we have a strong movement so uh we should make a new lower low guys over here we should break this structure to the downside gold 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 what's going on with gold yeah, the same as uh, other peers kind of like it retraced to the upside uh, retested this resist uh, support turning into the resistance and now it's falling to the downside like um furthermore it retested this auto block over here just falling to the downside very very stable You can just follow the structure on the low time frame guys um we broke the structure to the downside we do have some imbalances over here guys uh if it's a first like if if we just uh get it like this 
like fall. It's a, it's a just, uh, it's just you know, sideway trend, sideway movement. Like I don't, I don't, uh, I don't get this kind of like, I don't very, I don't very like to say that this is kind of like you know. Oh my god. A retracement. Because here we do have a candle after uh, these strong candles at the downside. And those all candles are inside of this candle, kind of like we don't have a closure above it. So, yeah, um, this might be a retracement, but not really. So, uh, we want to see a real retracement and we will draw our fib level from the high to the low and we'll look for maybe it, it's going to retrace somewhere over here over here even maybe like and above uh, about 618 levels we are going to have uh these beautiful order blocks where we would like to see our future selves bitcoin bitcoin what did i tell you with Bitcoin, top one percent. Okay, we don't need that. Okay, um, I was expecting. Yeah, it's it, it's my old analysis. I was expecting that the price is gonna break to the downside. We are at the falling channel, guys. Uh, right now, the price was at the rising channel and it broke to the downside. And on the daily, we wait. See, retracement to the upside, uh, retest of maybe order block we're going to have over here, or you can consider it as this um, break block over here, and then just continuation to the downside, guys. Yeah, I might sound as a Mr. Doomer, like that's not a very good perspective for crypto holders, uh, etc., but wake up to the reality guys yeah expecting those lows turn to the like resistance for bitter coin yeah that's all guys i hope you liked this video if you liked it subscribe hit a like button share with your friends and furthermore if you want to learn how we trade on the low time frame during the day guys we have revealed our ebook which is available like uh you can direct message us on the telegram just direct message major peep and we will uh provide you with that ebook guys of course that's not free but uh you will benefit from that okay guys uh and make sure to subscribe our telegram channel i wish you all the best peace